So today we're going to look at some early music. I don't know much about medieval music or music from the late Roman period, or music in general to be honest, but I do know that music used to primarily be learned by ear before musical notation, and that is something I actually have in common with early music. I'm sort of a primitivist, I guess, for lack of a better term. So as you can tell, I am, in addition to yapping about politics and philosophy, using this podcast to delve into things like music, visual art, possibly even stuff like dance and architecture, as well as books, film, TV shows, any artistic performances, albums, you name it. And you know, there might be some stuff involving theoretical fields like musicology, ethnomusicology, and any phenomena I find interesting about the history of music and music theory. This includes the interaction of cultures throughout history. And uh, as far as that goes, a good place to start is with some of the earliest surviving music, including the musical melody called Hurian Hymn Number no. 6. The piece of music is over 3,400 years old, uh, according to ClassicFilm.com, the Hurian Hymn was discovered in the 1950s on a clay tablet inscribed with cuneiform text. It's the oldest surviving melody and is over 3,400 years old. The hymn was discovered on a clay tablet in Ugarit, now part of modern-day Syria, and is dedicated to the Hurrians goddess of the orchards, the orchards, sorry, I almost said orchids, uh, Nikhil. Here it's performed by Michael Levy. <laughs> old-timey songs. For example, there is the Cyclos epitaph, the oldest known complete song. It's Greek and according to history.com was found engraved on an ancient marble column used to mark a woman's gravesite in Turkey. Here it's performed by Save or the San Antonio Vocal Arts Ensemble. Note that it's not just a simple chant, 
but has recognizable compositional techniques and almost transcends genre and speaks from the past. Due to its age, I would personally say it almost conveys a distinct style of music. Well, I, I guess that's about it. I just wanted to highlight these few tracks. Um, I find them interesting, even if not entertaining. Um, I think one of the pieces is uh, more conventionally pleasing than the other. You know, of course, that would be the Song of Psychilos. Um, but, you know, the other one might be better if you're looking for sort of a more raw sound, I suppose. Um, but anyway... That's about it for now. Have a good life.